Lord rise in your life this morning. Yes, He's been good, hasn't he been yes. good to you? Oh, he has blessed you yes. this far. And we thank God right now. Yes. We're going to go back down that out musician that's anointed from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. <laughs> He's going to sing and bless us right now. Amen. It's a wonderful selection. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Join in with us right now. Come on, put your hands together. I love to praise him. 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 Oh, I love to praise him. I love to praise him. I love to praise him. To praise Him, oh, for He's my rock, my rock, my rock, and He's a will. My God will never, He will never, never, never. He's just a truth. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, I love, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, I love oh, I love to praise him, I love to praise Praise him. Oh, I love to praise For he's my rock, my rock, and and he's a will. My God will never, he will never, he's just a true. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 hallelujah. He's just the truth. Come on, clap your hands. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Lord, I love you. 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 
Lord, I love it. Lord, I love it. Lord, I love it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, he's my rock. He's my rock. My rock, my soul, and he's the way. My God will never. He will never, never, never. Oh, he's just a truth. Okay, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, clap your hands all around. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I love you. 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 Everybody clap your hands. I just want to hear everybody clap your hands for the music. Everybody clap your hands. This Resurrection Sunday, we came to give God praise, not for what he's done. We didn't come to give him praise for no house or no car. But the fact that he lives on today is enough to give him praise. Whoa, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, he's my rock, my rock, my rock, my He's the wheel, he will never have. He's just a truth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Well, put your hands together. Amen. How many love the praise of this morning? How many got your praise souls on this morning? Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. 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 I love them. to praise him. I love to praise him, I love to praise him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise him, morning, praise him, noonday. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Come on. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Scripture says, that everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. Amen, amen. Amen.
Ella Badil. Can you hold my mule? Amen. 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 You might as well go ahead and give him praise. Amen. This is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. He rose. He's no longer in the grave. Got up with all power in his hand. You might as well give him praise. He's been too good to us. You might as well give him praise. Woke you up early this morning. You might as well give him praise. Amen. 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 Pastor Watterson feels right churchy in here. Amen. Sounds like somebody ready to give God the praise. Amen. We thank God. First, we give honor to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. To all of our pastors and first ladies, all ministers of the gospel, mothers, deacons, saints, and friends. Amen. We thank God for all of you on this morning to see your smiling faces. Yeah, I, I, I know it's early. <laughs> I, I know it's early. But since you got up, and since Jesus got up, we might as well give him the praise. Amen. 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 We thank God for you. Amen. I'm not going to be up here. Amen. It ain't my turn. Amen. But every now and then, when the wheel began to turn on the inside, amen, you might as well let the Lord have his way. Amen. We thank God for all of you that have come. Certainly thank God for my companion. Amen. Just thank God for all of you. Amen. On this great Resurrection Sunday. You know, I was at a service on Friday, and they said that even though it was Good Friday, Sunday is coming. <laughs> we do know that last Sunday, he rode in, and they were crying, Hosanna, Hosanna. But on Good Friday, they said crucify him. Amen. Set the thief. Gave him freedom, but they crucified my Lord. But you do know that it was in the plan. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. This morning, Psalms 100 said, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. I thank y'all have been obedient this morning. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to have our prayer coming from Pastor Simmons. Good morning, church. I don't know what to say this morning, but I know one thing. Our Savior lives. Not only does he live, but because you are here this morning, you have an opportunity to the tree of life. I know you can't stand in your seats right now. You just have to get up and give him some praise as we thank him. We're waking up this morning because he's a good God. He's a God that will never leave us, nor will ever forsake us. So if you will, stand on your feet right now. Let's give him a little praise. Oh, thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this morning, as humble as we know how, 
Father, we come in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come in the name of the one that is not in that tomb. I remember the angel said, he is not here. He has risen, but he lives right now in the hearts and minds of each and every one of us. I pray this morning you will allow him to use you, use you in a way whereby he can mediate to you, meditate to you, let you know the goodness of the Lord, because if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be standing here this morning, so we can give the Lord all of the praise and the glory. Father, we thank you for sending your son to this earth to atone for our sins and to give us an opportunity to the tree of life. Father knew from the very beginning that we couldn't do it, but right now, here and now, each and every one of us can come to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ humbly as we know how and ask him to deliver us, to cleanse us from all of the sin and the unrighteousness. And when he does that, he will become a permanent part of our heart. He will soften that hard heart. We will do things because we know it's the right thing to do. We don't do it just because you can do it and everybody says it's right to do it. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you right here and now for giving us an opportunity to be justified in our Heavenly Father. Father, we also ask you to Give us that righteousness. Allow us to be born again so that we can come and become a part of your, your kingdom as well as one of your sons and daughters. Because when we're your daughters and sons, we have a right to everything that you have. So do that, Heavenly Father. We are righteous. Righteous in Jesus' name. I'd just like to also say you need to give God a praise every morning when you open your eyes because it is he that is doing that not us and in our hand of ourselves so father we go into our service today father we ask you to bless the person that is going to give the word today father we ask you to allow it to be a part of our soul a part of our heart so that when we go out into the dying world we can be a witness to those that don't know lord our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's a good God. He's a God that loves us. He loves us beyond anything we can imagine. So having said that, you can rest assured if you humble yourself, keep his statutes and his commandments, he will be with you. He will guide you through the valley of the shadow of death. He will take you through all of those areas where there are ravenous wolves and so forth. But when you come out on the top, the sun will be bright. Not only will the sun be bright, but he will be waiting right there to take you by the arm and lead you into that kingdom where we will spend eternity forever and ever. Father, I know you're hearing my prayer. We accept that it hasn't been done. And we just again want to thank you for allowing your son Jesus Christ to come to this earth and help us to get on the right path so that no one has to be lost. We say all the day, in Jesus' name, let everyone say amen and amen. Yeah. And glad this morning on Resurrection Sunday. Simmons. This time we're going to ask that uh, Mount Zion will prepare to come forth, Mount Zion Choir.
Amen. We're going to be favored by a selection coming from the choir. Amen. Amen. Don't stop now.
reigns forever. Amen. 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 Sounds like we have some believers in the house. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to pause for any uh, announcements that any of our churches may have. I will start uh, on April the 13th. Uh, our uh, men will be uh, sponsoring a men's fellowship breakfast here at 9 a.m. Do ask all men that, uh, that can and will to come out and uh, join us as we fellowship one with another. Our theme is renewing our strength. Amen. Amen. We're living in a time now. Amen. That we need all the strength we can get. Amen. So this time we open the floor for any other announcements from any of our uh, churches. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to look back at all the pastors, uh, but uh, on next Sunday, we're having sunrise service at 1115. <laughs> amen. 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 This time we're going to prepare for the introduction of our speaker. I can do it, but uh, I'm going to put first lady on the spot. Amen. Amen. say he is a son of this ministry. Amen. 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 Thank God, First Lady. So after uh, you've heard from the choir, next person we'll hear from will be none other than Elder Thomas McGivery. Amen. Amen. Say preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. And bless my soul.
Praise the Lord, church. As I look out over the congregation, I see that the Lord is still blessing all of us. Amen. I know for a fact he's blessing me. Amen. Amen. Truly we give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is first in our lives. Amen. Amen. I thank God for this special day, Resurrection Sunday. Had he not rose this morning, where would you be? Uh, I'm so glad that he rose because he gave me a second chance. Amen. Amen. He took my sins away and made a better day for me. Amen. Truly we give honor to the Lord today for the choir singing so good. My wife, the first lady of Mount Zion. Amen. The Ministerial Alliance, we thank God we had an awesome service this week an awesome service church we're back we're back we're 100 percent bishop you know covid slowed us down but we're back 100 percent amen we thank god for bishop mccoy first lady mccoy for opening the doors for us in the star hope church family i'm home <laughs> i'm home in mountain star hope being different than me i'm home i'm home Bishop McCoy is my pastor, and his wife is my first lady. Amen. Truly, I thank God for my mom, 
that's in the house this morning. Church, your mother is important, amen. You still have a mama, enjoy her. She reminds me that every day, amen. Every day. Thank God for the musicians this week. Thank God for the first ladies. Mount Zion, raise your hand. I see some of you in the house, amen. Look at all my ministerial staff, all the ministers in the house, the elders, the ministers. I thank God today for Resurrection Sunday, amen. He is doing a new thing, not only at Mount Zion, but in this whole community, amen. We thank God for all that he has continued to do. Uh, if I left out somebody, don't charge it to my heart, charge it to my mind. You know, as you get older, you forget things sometimes. All I need is a couple of hours of your time. <laughs> now my mama will come up here and get me. Amen. <laughs> Our scripture this morning will be coming from Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. I still hear pages. And it reads, better stand if you can, amen. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Solomon, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sculpture at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sculpture? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was great. And entering into the sculpture, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment. And they were frightened. And they said unto him, be not afraid, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Seven, but go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he go up before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. Amen. You may be seated. But I want to pay particular attention to verse 7. But go your way, tell the disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. I want to use for a subject this morning, go tell the good news. Huh? Go tell the good news. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pause to say thank you. Lord, as I stand here before your people and you speak through this vessel of clay, I ask, oh God, you take me out of self, oh God, and have your way in the name of Jesus. Preach, teach, give the understanding that we die stand in need of, oh God. Lord, have thy way. In Jesus' name, amen. Go tell the good news. This is an important day today. We need to tell the good news that Jesus has risen this morning. In addition, we are glad that he rose. It's something that changed our lives. The early morning walk to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Solomon, have brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint Jesus. It was very early in the morning on the first day of the week they came to the sculpture at the rising of the sun. Church, they went very early in the morning. Early in the morning by the rising of the sun. The word tells us that while on their way there, they said amongst themselves, who shall roll away the stone from the door? 
Amen. You know, when you got a plan, you try to think it out as you go. Y'all just stay with me now. We're going to get on into it now. They set out while it was still dark, and they came within sight of the tomb for the first time. Just as they grew, grew light enough to discern that the stone had been rolled away, and while entering into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white garment. See, the, the stone was moved, and they seen a man sitting there. The words say they were fr uh, frightened. They were scared. And while at this culture, Mary Magdalene, seeing that the stone had been rolled away, and supposing that the body had been removed by the Jews. Uh, she thought the body had been taken by the Jews. So she runs to find Peter and John. The other women proceeded to the sculpture and entered. They see this young man. Matthew calls him an angel. In addition, this angel said to them, Be not afraid. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Look at the place where they lay him. Mm. See, when you're looking for Jesus, you shouldn't be scared. Huh? Unless your hand's dirty. Huh? But on this occasion, this was a very special morning. Amen? They went very early in the morning. To find Jesus. And they said, look at the place where they laid him. Something that happened for us all. First, the women came bringing spices. They came to do the work of an undertaker. They had worried about who was going to remove the stone from the door. I come and tell you, church, unbelief is fertile ground for worry. There was no need to worry. When they got there, the stone had already been rolled away. Tell somebody you can't beat God's giving. Huh? See, God will send you some help right when you need some help. If your mind stayed on him. See, they came to anoint Jesus. They came to put spices on his body. They came to do the work of an undertaker. But according to the word, Jesus wasn't dead this day. He was just resting a while. Somebody tell God, thank you for the rest. Sometimes we got to rest and back off and recuperate. Can I get a witness this morning? See, church, as I said, fertile ground is a ground for weary. But don't need to weary. Here were three women commissioned by an angel. And if you commission... God will condition you to do the work of his work. Can I get a witness this morning? How many have been commissioned? Commissioned to do the work of the Lord. Here was three women commissioned by an angel. They was put away their fears and know that Christ was still alive. They were to tell the disciples that Christ has done risen. But they were to be sure to tell Peter. Why must they tell Peter? Peter was the leader of the disciples. And he had done messed up. Y'all follow with me now. How important that the resurrection is. Why must Peter be told? Peter needed to know that he was forsaken. How many know that we've been forsaken by Jesus? When he went to the cross, he went so our soul wouldn't be lost. Can I get an amen this morning? See, Jesus had prepared his disciples for what was ahead. He prepared them for the crucifixion, the persecution, and his resurrection. See, there was one that made a vow to never be offended. And his name was Peter. Peter had broken that vow. Some of us have broken vows before. But Jesus, his resurrection, 
is so important for us all. Y'all need to get up and tell him thank you for the good news I'm finna preach right now. Let the Lord have his way. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I was a Peter one time. But when he went to the cross, he said, you got a second chance. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Have you had a second chance? I don't mind getting my praise on. I'm so glad I can tell God thank you. You want to know my story sometime. Tell why I'm a giver always telling God thank you. Because the resurrection was important for us all. I come to tell the good news, church. I was lost, but now I'm found. I was tore up from the floor up. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus is alive. How many know that Jesus is alive? Well, when I got up this morning, it wasn't the clock that woke me up. It was Jesus that pushed the deaf angels back and said, get up. I got up. I rose this morning by the power of God. I can truly say he's been good to me. I can tell the good news. I can shout about it. How many can say God's been good? Tell the good news. He's risen this morning. He rose in my soul. I'm so glad. Good God, I'm so glad. I can tell him thank you, Bishop, when I'm down and out. I can tell him thank you. Because when I look at Jesus, how he hung on the cross, I ain't did no suffering like my God did. When he went to the cross, he took it with him. He took my pain away. He took my suffering away. Now I can truly say, Jesus, Jesus, he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. I'm so glad. Tell the good news. Some of y'all need to tell the good news. I was down and out. He brought me out. Hallelujah today. Here Peter, he needed to know that Jesus had kept his vow. See, when we fail, that don't mean it's a lifelong failure. Tell God, thank you, and get right back up. God's love reaches out to those who have failed. The cross, the resurrection, guaranteed that love. In addition, Peter needed to know he had been given. See, Peter was a prime example. Hung out with Jesus. Ate with Jesus. Watched Jesus heal the sick. Promised Jesus that he would never leave him and never forsake him. But when he got out amongst the crowd, when he got out in the wrong place, when he got out, he said, I don't know it. He started to trip. He started to fall. He even cursed. You know what I'm talking about. We have all slipped and came short of the glory of God. But tell the good news. I was down, but now I'm back up. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. The resurrection. The resurrection. It changed me. It turned me around. See what Peter had done. What I like about the resurrection. Peter. God wanted him to know. That your sins are forgiven. Go tell the good news. The resurrection, y'all. It means your sins can be forgiven. Bishop, I ain't got to find you no more to make a sacrifice. I can stop 
right where I'm at and tell the good news. Say, God, I was lost, but now I'm found. I mean, it can tell the good news. Don't hold back. Tell the good news. See, Peter, he was a broken man. Peter had been broken before. When his net broke in Luke, when his pride was broken, when his partnership was broken, he had left all to follow Jesus. Now he felt disqualified. And Peter needed to know he still belonged to the Lord. Church, I don't know what you're going through, but you still belong to the Lord. I don't care what you're facing, you still belong to the Lord. Trouble don't last always. My Bible says he got up. Ooh, what I talking about? He got up. He got up with all power. Didn't say something, but all power. He can heal the sick. He can give sight to the blind. But he got up with all power. And here what I want to tell you. See, Peter had messed up, but God still loved him. He gave him grace. He'll give you grace. Go tell the good news. What the resurrection mean to me It's a living hope. How many know it's a living hope? All things, all things. I can give it to God. I'm so glad this morning. Without the resurrection, there would be no hope. Without the resurrection, there would be no nevertheless, no salvation. Nevertheless, church, Christ has risen this morning. Go tell the good news. I'm going to tell you about some good news. How many can raise your hands? How many can pat your feet? That's good news. When I leave here today, I'll go someplace where people want to raise their hand and can't raise them. But while I got breath in this body, I'm going to praise him. The good news, he rose early this morning. He rose early this morning. He rose with the power in his hand. Good God Almighty, I feel something now. I feel like lifting him up, lift him up, lift him up high, tell him thank you, I'm so glad. Peter had lost out, but when he came down to meet with his disciples, he said, find Peter. He wanted Peter to know, I ain't mad with you. I can give you a second chance. He gave us a second chance. Church. Nevertheless, Christ has risen this morning. Tell somebody, the old is go, the new is in. The old is go, the new is in. When I think about Jesus and all that he continued to do for me, my soul crowd. Sometimes I got to cry sometimes, but I can still tell the good news. The good news, church. Good news. I got good news. I walked in here this morning. They didn't roll me in in front of the bishop. I walked through the door. Good news. Good news. I got the activity on my limbs. That's good news. I'm so glad, church. I'm so glad. Go tell the good news. The second chance. If it wasn't no resurrection, there would not be no hope, no salvation. He died for us all. See, when I think about what he went to his father and said, if this cup, yes, if it be thy will, let it pass from me. But in that cup, was sin and sickness. In that cup, it was some powerful stuff. 
But look at Jesus. The grave couldn't hold him down. They pierced him inside. He told the disciples, I'll see you again. Oh, in Galilee. I'll see you again. If you live right, you will see him again. If you live right, you will see him again. And I leave with you that. Go tell the good news that Jesus rose this morning. But tell him, let's kick it up a little bit. Say, he rose down in my soul. Let's kick it up. He rose this morning. Get your smile on. Say, he rose. He rose down in my soul. He rose in the house this morning. He rose in the church this month. I want him to rise, rise up, rise above it all. Touch our youth, touch our people. I'm so glad, church, that we got something to shout about. We got something to thank God about. Now you want to know my story. I can truly say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. For all that you've done. And I thank you for what he's getting ready to do. But most of all, church, everybody lay your hand and say, have your way. Hallelujah. Raise your hand and say, have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave you with that. Christ has risen. Go tell the good news. Tell somebody I made it. Amen. There may be one that don't know Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Today will be a good day. Resurrection Sunday. I mean a great day. Jesus died for you and I. This could be a powerful change where I go back and say, early one Sunday morning, Jesus came into my life. I got the talent everywhere I go. I can't hold it back. Deacon, you can say, I got the talent. Mr. Old folks say, God been good to me. Go tell the good news. Is there not be one to come this morning to be saved? Let's everyone stand to your feet. Right where you are, I'm going to pray. And all I ask you to do is ask, tell you to ask the Lord to have his way as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for your resurrection. We thank you this morning, God, for your son Jesus that died on the cross to give us a better life, to give us salvation, to give us hope for the future. Lord, we ask, oh God, you open the doors that we cannot open, and you shut the doors that we cannot shut. And Lord, we say, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. If there are any sickness among us, have your way, God. Touch every church represented here today, every pastor, every minister, every leader, everyone by the sound of my voice. Lord, we thank you right now, God, for your grace. And the mercy you have shown us. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. For all you continue to do. Lord, just have your way today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood, and what he did for me on Calvary is more
Amen. How many have had to seek the Lord? He may not have answered you in your time, but he answered us right on time. That's the kind of God that we serve. And now as we transition into our Holy Communion, Luke said in chapter 22, verse 19 and 20, And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. This time we ask that our pastors would come and assemble themselves on the right and left of the table. Amen. This is not something that we just do haphazardly. This is something that he directed us to do until he shall return again. Because he said, do this, what? In remembrance of me. And if our memory is correct, he came down on our behalf, walked among men, and took the abuse that we should be taken. We all know what happened as they led him from judgment hall to judgment hall. They began to accuse him, and he was truly an innocent man. But they took him to the cross. And there on the cross, they nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. They put a crown of thorns upon his head. Mocked him. But Jesus never said a mumbling word. He did it for you. He did it for all of us. He shed his precious blood that we might have eternal life. We ask that Pastor Bowie would bless our bread, a symbol of his broken body. Almighty and wise God, we come just as humble as we know how to say thank you, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God, because you died on the cross for our sins, God. We thank you because you rose the third day morning, God. Oh, God, you did it in our behalf, God. Oh, God, your body was broken so ours would not be broken. God, and we thank you this morning for everything. God, help us, oh, God, to live worthy. Oh, God, of all your many blessings. Amen, and thank the Lord. Amen. We ask Elder Baker, if he would, bless the Jews, a symbol of his shed blood. The blood that was shed you and I to redeem man from his sinful ways the blood that was that will save the blood that will heal father God you are our sacrifice that we may one day live forever and ever amen
Amen. We pray that all have been served. Amen. All have been served. And at this time, Amen. Does anyone else have one that is not complete? Amen. Amen. And as we take the bread, a symbol of his broken body, let us take and eat all of it. Amen. And then let us take the juice. Amen. A symbol of his shed blood. What can make us whiter than snow? <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Take ye and drink all of it. Amen, 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 amen. amen. We just thank God. And we all know how the story goes. Amen. Amen. As he girded himself with a towel. Amen. He knelt down to wash the disciples' feet. That bold Peter said, Oh no, Lord, you are the master. I am the servant. I should be washing your feet. But Jesus said, If I wash not your feet, you will have no part in me. Amen, amen. Let us go away today with joy in our heart and Jesus on our mind. God bless you. Amen.